Hi guys, I'm Jim, and this is part four of the series. What we're going to talk about this time is video editing software. Um, there's quite a few programs out there you can use to edit your video, and they all have a lot of things in common. Um, what I'm going to do is walk you through the basics of the interface. So all the programs that I can think of, um, and I've used a lot of them, probably five or six different programs to edit video, they all have the same basic tool set. And so what I'm going to do is use this uh, one that's in front of you right here, right here called uh, Pinnacle uh, Studio Ultimate Collection and walk you through what all these little pieces are so that whenever you open up or start trying out your video editing software, you'll know how it works. So let's get started right away and I'll show you through, uh, show you all I know about it. Basically what this is is a place that you have all of the video clips you're going to use in order to make your video. Um, these are all the unedited pieces, these have all been de um, um, gone through the scene detection and things like that. So all of these little pieces are little short clips and you can see as I move through them they're you know, 50 seconds, 20 seconds, 33 seconds and so they're all little pieces of, of video. What we're going to do is start to take these pieces and um, start to work with them. So, um, for instance, what I'm going to do here is click on one of these videos here. Um, when I do, you're going to see that it pops up right over here. And this is called the um, um, player window, I think. Um, they're called different things in different programs. We're going to call it the player window. Basically, what you do is um, play your video. Um, from this window and then you can uh, adjust the um, or you can actually in this case take a look and see whether or not this is the clip that you want to use so um, this is the first clip that I clicked on clicked on if I like this piece of video and I want to use it I can simply take it and drag it down here and down here is the timeline the timeline is the place where all of your video is put together so if you find a piece that you like then you bring it down here and then when you export the final video it's going to be in there um, this is where you add soundtracks transitions um, and then do some fine editing so um, I'm gonna get to that in a second but let's go back up top over here and this right here is a little toolbar that has lots of little things in it. These are all the tools that you're going to use while you're editing your video. Like I said, most other programs have a very similar uh, toolbar that will walk you through or allow you to um, add different features and transitions and music and, and all that to your videos. But what we'll do right now is sort of walk through what those are. Um, so right now we're on the camera and this is showing all the videos that we have imported into the program. The next one is called Transitions and if I click on this you'll notice that the whole interface starts to change. Um, the clip, uh, the video clips are no longer here um, or not viewable right here right now and what we're going to do right now is take a look at the different types of transitions. So if we want to do, um, you know, we can figure out what video transition we want to use um, and when we find one that we like, um, the way you use it is you take it and you drag it right down over here. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a transition between the two clips that we just entered. Okay, um, so that's the transition window. Um, this is a um, special feature with Pinnacle Ultimate Collection called the Montage, I think it's Montage Creator, Montage Themes. Um, what this will do is allow you to create special little intros. So if I click on one and let me uh, let it play here. So this will allow us to take five different pieces of video and input them or put them into these little spots so that we can create neat little transitions, zoom effects and you know 3D animations and things like that. There's one that's a book. Um, so you could do this with a family vacation or something like that. 
and show video right in there if you wanted to. Um, actually, probably in these uh, marked one, two, three, four. So um, that's that one. Um, other programs have special effects like that as well, but um, that's how Pinnacle works. Um, the next thing we have is the titler. Um, this will allow you to put titles in your um, in your videos. And if I click on that and then I go over here and hit play, I think it's going to show me. There we go. So we can see all of the different titles that are available here to put into our project. Okay, so that's a quick tour of how this interface works. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is show you um, another program that's just like it. And that is this one. This is called um, Cyberlink Power Director. And this is another editor that you can use. Both of those editors that I just showed you, the one that I've just shown you, uh, the Pinnacle, I think is about $130. I think this one's less than $100. Um, pretty similar features. Um, once again, you have the clip window right in here. Um, once I click on one, it shows me the video on the right side here, and I can play it. And then if I want to use it, I can take it down to the timeline, and we can insert it there. Um, over here is our little toolbar. They call them a little different things here. They call it an effect room, and this is where you can input your video and make little um, special effects happen to them. Um, this one right here is um, picture in picture. So if we want to, you know, put a frame around our video or add some special effects to the outside, then we can do that. Um, this one actually has a particle um, room, so this one will create um, a star trail, I think. And it's hard to see over that background, but um, basically it gives you some cool effects that sort of look like stars and things like that. Um, I've also got a um, titler here, which will allow you to create your own um, uh, titles. Um, if you want to create your own title from scratch here, then you can open up a new one like this, and then it'll bring up this interface, which will allow you to create um, you know, basically any title that you want to um, in any style. Um, this right here is our, these are our transitions. Um, um, there's a lot of transitions in this program, and um, you can see examples of exactly how they're going to look even before you put in any video. This one is the video control, or the audio control. Um, so um, this is a little different feature. This one can control if you want to have your voice or your music louder than the other. Um, if you have a picture in picture, if you have you know something like I did in the very beginning of this program where you have a video that's underneath there and then a the little camera of, of myself or whatever talking in the in the middle um, overlaying over the top. So you can control those sorts of things in this program. Um, this one is to record um, audio if you have a microphone hooked up and as you can see I'm talking right now and it's picking it up. Um, and this is for this little button right here is for dividing it, your video, your final video, into chapters so that when you make a DVD, um, you have those nice chapters that you um, can browse through. And then uh, this looks just like a edit decision list, which is just a um, oh, subtitle room. So you can add subtitles to your, to your videos and things like that. So um, once again, we'll go back through this one more time, clip window. Um, click on one of these and the video loads over here um, and then if you're happy with it you drag it down to the timeline and the timeline is once again where all of these videos come together so um, hope you've liked this one and hope you got out a, a lot out of it and maybe learned something